Hey, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, hey. hey Thanks for Greg. coming. Hey. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to be here. You know, I'm, I'm glad that you dropped by because I wanted to give you... I got this little list of stuff that I don't want to talk about on the show. All right. Okay, this is stuff I don't... Don't? You know, I, yeah. All right. I don't want, All right. I don't want you to talk about it. All right. Danny, this just says horse oh, meat. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's the wrong, that's the wrong list. Wait a minute. Here, that, that yeah, one. All right. Yeah. That one there. All right. Um, okay, you don't want me to talk about a TV show? No, no, the Sunny don't mention Sunny. All right, Sunny. movies. Uh, well, you could, that to Smoochie, you don't say right. anything. Uh, like news uh, uh, or personal hell? life. Well, Rhea had her knee replaced, but uh, yeah. she's doing okay. But don't right. that, yeah. well, what were we allowed to talk no, no, about no, no, then? No. That, 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 okay, well, this is the idea. This is the, that's the, this you, I want you to talk about. It just says horse meat. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that, but that's the thing, you see. Here's the thing. I've, I've come out with my, my own new line of horse meat that I'm, that I'm selling, and, and it's got my picture on the package. It's the only one with Danny DeVito's I'm picture. Not, I'm not using the show's airtime to promote horse meat. I didn't e even know you were allowed to sell horse meat in stores. Well, you're, you're not allowed to sell them in stores. I, I, you got to buy it out of the back seat of my car. Danny, every time you're on the show, you've got some different crazy scheme. Last this time you were trying to sell me a racehorse, this time you're trying to... That's pretty bad. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight's Late Late Show is brought to you by DeVito's own horse meat. Sold wherever Danny DeVito's car is parked. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. equipment off of the camera with your completely genuine applause. It, look, this fell off. What's this? It's this is a respect. Oh, this look well, take that, Mac, with your iPods. It's a shade for the light. Oh, that's why we can't see anything. Hi everyone. Is it very bright now? But it's very bright without the shoe. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it, is. it is. It's a great day for America. A great day for me. Mmm, tasty horse meat. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I'm kidding, but I look forward to your letters. <laughs> Except you, France. <laughs> the e horse meat in France. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, yeah. One more thing to love them for. I, uh, I, no, it's a great day for America. Not a great day for America's sweetheart. I'm talking, of course, of Charlie Sheen. The, uh, uh, the police were called to his, uh, this morning to his New York hotel room. Charlie was found disorientated, completely naked, and the hotel room was trashed. Apparently, he had a reaction to some medication. <laughs> I think the medication was tequila. <laughs> and I think the reaction was... Whoa! Now, it's a very sad day today if you're a fan of psychic octopuses. 
Octopi, octopuses, I look forward to your lairs. Anyway, uh, Paul, the psychic octopus who predicted the winners of eight World Cup matches, passed away. Paul, the psychic octopus, made one last prediction before he went. He predicted that he'd be delicious with pasta and a lemon butter sauce. <laughs> Get that with a nice bit of horse meat. You got a tasty treat right there. In your pants. In your butt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, New York City uh, is cock a hoop today. Hundreds of people have reported seeing UFOs above Midtown. The people, are, the police are saying, not to worry. It's just furniture flying out of Charlie Sheen's hotel room. All right. Now, now. <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, actually, in this case, they really do. They're like. <laughs> anyway, there's a, there's a new book in stores today. If you're too young to know what a book is, it's like a long, papery blog. And the, book is called, the, the book is called Life, and it's the autobiography of Keith Richards. <laughs> now, if you're too young to know Keith Richards, think, think of a Jonas brother with, with uh, life experience, heroin, and talent. Uh, now, I... I downloaded uh, uh, the book to my Kindle, and now my Kindle has to go to rehab. <laughs> Where? It awaits the presence of Charlie Sheen. Uh, <laughs> Keith Richards is 66 years old, but he looks great. Do we have a recent picture of Keith? Oh, God! <laughs> <on. laughs> That's not fair. Do we have a real picture of Keith? Holy crackers. Oh. Oh, why? Why? That's Keith Centerfold from the magazine Play Grandpa. <laughs> My biggest turn on is the early bird special. <laughs> turn offs include grandkids who don't go. <laughs> I haven't read Keith's book, but I'm definitely curious about it. Apparently, he says he, he has a secret longing to become a librarian. And I'm like, ah. I think he got confused and just misspelled lesbian. But. <laughs> <laughs> now, people think uh, that he's drugged out, but he's not. Uh, Keith quit cocaine in 2006 after falling out of a tree. That's <laughs> true. I can sympathize. I quit acid in the 1980s after being attacked by an imaginary duck. <laughs> I'm not lying. Of course, I can't condone the use of cocaine, uh, unless you're using it to stay up late and watch this show. Actually, that would be a depressing waste of cocaine. <laughs> anyway, the, the, book, the, the book was culled from Keith Richards' private letters and diaries. It's hard to imagine Keith Richards keeping a diary, though. I can't really understand it. Dear diary, <laughs> does Mick Jagger like me or does he like me like me? <laughs> He's actually, Keith isn't very nice about Mick in the book. He calls Mick Jagger unbearable. <laughs> I know. Ooh, ooh I know. I mean, he calls him unbearable. If a guy who used to shoot heroin into his scrotum finds you unbearable, that means something. <laughs> Keith says that his nickname for Mick is Brenda. I've no idea why. I, I know it's annoying to be called a girl's name by someone you work with if you're not a girl. That's why I call Jeff Peterson Mrs. Tickles. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind at all. Anyway, the biggest... Yep. Yeah, shut up. Uh, the biggest revelation in the book is that Keith says he's seen Mick naked. And he says that Mick has, and I'm quoting this from the book, a tiny tadger. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you don't know what a tadger is, it's a euphemism. It's like, um, uh, let's see, Admiral Winky, or... Uh, Bald-headed giggle stick, or... <laughs> Brett Favre's Little Viking. Uh, it's, what I'm saying is it's his penis! There! Now, according to people who work for the Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger has read Keith's book and he is not happy about it. So he's writing a, a rebuttal. Uh, Mick's new book is out soon. We've seen the cover. You got the cover of the book? There you are, my friend. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I don't think it's right to discuss penises in a book. I prefer to look at them on the internet. But Keith, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now, Keith and Mick are a great team, but they're always bickering. They're an old married couple, you know, carpool. I don't marry <laughs> They are, no. Keith asks Mick, uh, you know, if his tight leather pants make him look fat. Mick gets angry at Keith for not asking directions when they get lost. The reason they stay together is because of the sex. Do we have a picture of Keith again? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's why. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> you know, we have to clean our palates a little bit. What about a picture of me with my ferrets? I've noticed about that photograph that the ferrets look very small. <laughs> I've got a huge head. My head is so big it makes ferrets look tiny. Yep. Yeah. We have to take a break, but when we come back. Oh dear, I hope for a break. Yeah, you can have a break. We'll have some commercials. It'll be awesome. We've got a great show. Uh, we showed it in 2008. <laughs> uh, you should have been here then. Uh, what a night that was. <laughs> However, tonight we'll, you know, get through it somehow. We'll be right back, everybody. are awesome. <laughs> All right, let me be honest with you. Welcome back to the show. I'm kind of phoning it in tonight. In an awesome way. Do we, uh, what time is it, uh, Jeffrey Pearson? Craig, break out the tweets. Play the jingle, then. All right, let's see what we got. This is from Tom in Albany in New York. Uh, Tom says, Dear Craig, do you think Secretariat will ever have the time to stop by on your show again? Uh, I don't know if Secretariat will turn up when Danny DeVito's here, you know. Uh, I mean, maybe it's possible. Oh, who's at the door now? Why is it? It's More, please. Oh, all right, then. It's Secretary! <laughs> all right, that's enough. Well, who saw that coming? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, yeah. Uh, this is from Sarah in Bloomington in, uh, Minnesota? Really? Bloomington in Minnesota? I knew that. She says, uh, Dear Craig, is it acceptable to buy flowers for your boyfriend, or would that be considered weird? No, no, it's a lovely thing to do. <laughs> Particularly if your name is Sarah. Uh, no, I think it's a nice thing when a woman buys man, man flowers. I look forward to your flowers. <laughs> flowers and uh, little cheeky monkeys. In your pants. All right, uh, this is from uh, Nick in Bellingham in uh, Washington. <laughs> Wasn't there another Bellingham there, or what was that one? Am I going mad? Oh, Bloomington, and then yep. this... Yeah, I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> Why can't you be supportive? You see, I would never send you flowers because you're mean. <laughs> yes! 
Yes, yes you are. Yes, yes you are. And now you're being standoffish and passive aggressive. <laughs> Never send a new flowers, ever. <laughs> This is from Nick in Bellingham in Washington. says, uh, Dear Craig, is it weird that I can't look away when I see a picture of you and your ferrets? <laughs> it's sexy time. It is, it is. It is, it's pretty sexy. A man and his ferrets, it's awesome. Uh, this is from Cole in uh, Oriana in Illinois. Said, Cole says, Dear Craig, have you ever had an out-of-body experience? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Be more specific. Uh, I, uh, I remember once having an out-of-body experience and being attacked by an imaginary duck. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? When I was attacked by the imaginary duck, I wished I was having an out-of-body experience because then the duck would be attacking an empty body while I could make my getaway. <laughs> Do I sound like I've got a bit of a cold tonight? I feel like I've got a bit of a cold tonight. I didn't notice it until I came out here and then I now I feel it. I may be an allergic reaction to horse meat. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break, but when we come back, um, it's not going to get much better. Oh, well, a bit, yeah. Because Danny DeVito's here. It'll be all right. All right, we'll be right back. cold but I don't know it's who can say <laughs> I don't know I it's not it feels like I'm just kind of like my ears are blocked up or something like I'm trapped inside my own head <laughs> my first guest tonight is in the show it's always sunny in Philadelphia but and now I was in Philadelphia uh, last week and it's not <laughs> But the show is called It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Thursdays on uh, FX. Take a look at this. All right, crack my back, all right? Can you crack my back, please? Crack my back. All right, come on, turn around. Uh, Give me that. Hey, ready? Wait up. Yeah. Ah! Oh, 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 my back. Oh, my back. Oh, oh, my back. Oh, 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 I did it again. Oh, 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 if we do that to miss the partnership thing that gay guys can do, I can totally get on your health insurance. You wouldn't even have to pay for the chiropractor. Are you proposing to me? <laughs> Please welcome Danny DeVito, everybody. Danny DeVito. Put a little bit what of did you some break. Do? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he killed the horse. Yeah, that's all right. Sit down. I'll just. I'll, okay. I'll bring this over. Bring It'll, it over. Yeah. I'll put it over here. Are you all right, Daddy? Oh, I feel good. Yeah. yeah. I feel good. I'm really happy to be here. You are? Oh yeah, I'm very happy to be here with you. It's nice to see you. I yes. listen. I uh, I wouldn't go around wearing that horse costume, though. The, no, the no. kids that are in there aren't that clean. Well, you know, the, the Halloween's coming up. Halloween's coming yeah, up. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I could take that thing home. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm not getting. I'm not getting inside that. No, no. <laughs> do you do Halloween? Do you? You could be the back. What? You want to be the ass? <laughs> you could be the ass end. I don't. You don't know. That's because I'm European. You think I? <laughs> no. 
No, I don't want to be. Feel. I don't want to be your ass end. <laughs> Sue yourself. <laughs> Do you go out at uh, Halloween? Do you go out and no. dress up as a horse? No. Well, but you and Rhea, no. you could go out as you and Rhea. It'd be yeah, awesome. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the thing about it, I went out once on Halloween with my kids years ago, and I, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a costume. I got a sheet, and I just stuck it over me. I put a little a couple of holes you in the You lazy bastard! <laughs> I hate when people do that. Well, you know, I had the lantern on the outside, you know, so that I could show that it was, the kids were really small. We were living in a really great neighborhood, and a lot of people were walking around with their kids. And I figured, you know, nobody's going to see me, right? I'm under the thing. And I'm standing there with the, with the flashlight while the kids go up to the door, and a bunch of kids come by and say, Hi, Mr. DeVito. <laughs> I mean, I was like a fire hydrant, a yeah. white fire hydrant. It was like, I, I don't that know, was, how could they, you know, you know, it was me. Maybe it was, maybe it was height related. <laughs> no, duh. Duh. No kidding. No. Yo. What the hell is that? You've been chillo anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let it go. Let it Bag go. Bag of bones. Hey, hey. Uh, is, did Rhea really get her knee replaced? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, with what? With another knee. Oh, another knee. All right. <laughs> well, she had it uh, a week ago Monday. Just two weeks, actually. She all right? She's fine. She's walking without a cane. It's like amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I always look forward to her appearances on this show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because she loves... she's, never, she's never been here. She loves coming here. Yeah, yeah. She's never been here, but I always think she has been here. It's the weirdest she's thing. She's been here, right? No. Never. Has she? No. She's never been here. I always think she has, and she's never had. I always ask her, how was the Ferguson show? Yeah, that's... <laughs> She always says it was great. Why do you do we this have every time you're here? We Look, I've got a slight cold coming on, and you're <laughs> with me again. <laughs> that scene from the uh, from the Always Sunny in Philadelphia when you yes. were doing that thing with that yeah, guy, with Charlie. Yeah, yeah, did you did you like oh, that? Oh man, we have a great time. Yeah, this show is so wacky. I mean, I I, I like really. I have so much fun doing the show. It's it's just like a sin because I go there and they, the big thing is that you know me, I'll do anything, right? So these guys come up with all these crazy things, you know? Like, you know, I come out of the... You see the Christmas show? Oh, I never oh, miss yeah. it. yeah, never... <laughs> we did a Christmas DVD last year where I... Where I I'm, the, the Scrooge thing, where they're taking me through to see how... Oh, yeah, kind of bad, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Showing yeah. me what my, how I was bad to them yeah. and everything. And I, they bring me to a cocktail party, and I say, well, hide me in that leather couch. So I get in the leather couch... You got to see the show. I mean, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. And uh, it gets very hot in there. So I break through the ledge of the couch naked. Actually, I and do got to see this you show. Gotta yeah, see yeah, that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's a Christmas DVD. And, and, and I saw the show, and it looked like, I swear, it looked for a minute like a halibut coming out on the. <laughs> It was really a big, fat halibut. Oh, come on, man. Why do you do that to yourself? I mean, you shouldn't say you call yourself a halibut. No, well, all right, well, it was like a, a sea bass. There you go. That, <laughs> yeah, a little more self-esteem there. There you go. Do you enjoy sea bass? Once in a while. Yeah, yeah. I like, I find halibut can be a very dry fish, though. Uh, not if it's naked and oily. None of us are dry when we're naked and oily. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did you ever train that dog of yours that poops everywhere? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, the dog that <laughs> poops all over. Yeah, yeah. Does it still Because yeah. i got a Jack no, Russell poops everywhere. No, my, my Jack Russell doesn't poop everywhere. I've got this little long-haired chihuahua that just loves me. Yeah. I mean, it, it craps on my side of the bed all the time. <laughs> yeah, you don't, we're still talking about the dog here, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's always good to have a dog to blame. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's bad. Oh. Well, at least that kind of thing, you know. He said, what was that? Oh, oh it was the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, but well, you shouldn't let the dog on the bed. That's why he's crapping on the bed. Don't let no, him on the bed. No, he's not crapping on the bed anymore. All right, well, that's good then. It's over. Anymore is a good key couple words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> for, yeah. for how long, like For a, a while, couple of days? crapping on the bed. What? Couple of days? Longer? Yeah. No, he's not crapping on the did bed you get, Did you get a dog whisperer like no, that guy? No, no, no. I yell at it. There's no whispering in my house. Really? Get your little ass out of there. Are we still talking about the dog? No. Oh. 
How many dogs you got? Two. Yeah. I got a, a Jack Russell. Yeah. Sonny. Yeah. And I got uh, the little long-haired Chihuahua that was you, we rescued from under the house. It was a uh, shivering cold, like about nine months old, and and uh, it's. Don't you all here? <laughs> we, we 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 named him Zorro. Zorro. He's a beautiful oh, yeah. dog. Oh, because of uh, Chihuahua. No, the Mexican gardener named him. <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's, there's, there's all sorts of wrong going on here. I know, uh, a lot. I got I know, it's a lot. We're really in a lot bad. of I got a lot. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, though, this looks great. It's a shame we're out of time, but we could plug it. Okay, well, all plug. Right. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's on FX, 10 o'clock on Thursday nights. is a beautiful actress. A beautiful actress? Yes. Why are you talking like this? I'm manufacturing some kind of enthusiasm because I feel I've got a cold coming on. <sighs> Man, you know you're old when you have to manufacture enthusiasm for a beautiful actress. No, it's real. She's, uh, she starred in uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is on DVD, starting on November the 9th. Well, it's on DVD now, but you can't get it until November the 9th. But it's ready. <laughs> Take a look at this. You crack the whip, shape, shift, and trick the past again. Send you my love on a wire. Lift you up every time, I have no idea what happens there. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Brie Larson, everybody. Brie Larson. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, Brie. You look lovely. No, you, we won't need these. The, the, uh, you look lovely. I didn't know whether to, you know, approach you in a friendly... Because I feel like I might be contagious in some way, cold Well, that's why I felt like the hug was a better option. Nice option, yeah, and, and I'm grateful for it. I just went right past all the bacteria versus... All yeah, and this also, we business. have got this here, so you'll be all right. Here, stick some of that on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that film looks good, that uh, Scott Pilgrim film. Is that you singing? What do you think it's about? Just I have judging no her idea. Actually, you know, that's not true. My son reads the books. This is so comfy. Just it is, is kind of nice. Yeah, like it's it's nice. nice. That's a lovely name, Brie. Is that really name? Are you named after a cheese? Yes, I am. Really? Really? I'm, I'm no. named after a cheese. I get confused all the time. I walk into rooms, and people are like, ah! Oh, we want I didn't to... know it was going to be a human. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a cheese. Like no. <laughs> no. Well, Brie is a very nice name, but it's also the name of a cheese. It's just, a, is it a coincidence, it is. or is it? It's just a coincidence. All right. So I was named first. <laughs> Pre-date soft cheese? Yeah, people don't know that. Man, you, you look real good. Thank you. Yeah, that's... Yes, it's from these um, acai bowls. Have you heard of this? Acai bowls? Yes. They're no, these bowls with a... all these berries, and they're supposed to uh, make you look younger. So that's what I've been doing. Why My... don't I know about this? I'm like 170 years old. No way. <laughs> and do you like the vampires with feelings? They're all very old, but Who they look the young. the vampires with feelings? You know, the twilight, the little twinkie boy that's the werewolf they and all that. They don't have feelings. Yeah. They don't have feelings? I don't think it looks like they have feelings. Yeah, they always have feelings. He's like, oh, I don't know if I can go out with you because I'm a vampire. You know, like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I was yeah. thinking that they were just constipated, but I guess those are No, feelings. they, well, I, I don't know if I can go to the bathroom because I'm a vampire. Right. Do you ever do this with your hands? Yeah. I do all the it's time. It's like a T-Rex sort oh, of thing. Oh, it's awesome. Isn't it just but like a with... lazy T-Rex. Oh, <laughs> I'd roar, but I just don't have the <laughs> inclination. <laughs> Do you enjoy dinosaurs? I do. I love them. Really? Yeah, What's your well, favorite then? Well, I'm so old. I used to hang out with them. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, I do. Right, what's your favorite then? 
Yeah. Triceratops? Um, well, I like the Land Before Times movie, so I like the uh, Brontosaurus. The Brontosaurus is nice, but a vegetarian. I like my dinosaurs to be, be meat, meat eaters. eaters. Yeah. Or omnivores. Omnivores. Right? Are you an omnivore or are you a vegetarian? Oh, I'm an omnivore. Really? I would think a young actress like you, you'd be a vegetarian, no. drive a Prius, uh, all that kind of thing. No. I think I'm kind of the opposite. I just recently had, um, I had bone marrow when I was in Paris, which was pretty... To eat? To eat. <laughs> Human uh, bone marrow? No, I think it was pig. Pig? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you ate it? I ate it. It was on toast. The bone was on the plate and then there was a toast. That's and then the gross. Thing. <laughs> Did you really? What, you think I'm lying? Yeah, I think you might be capable of that. <laughs> no. Were you in France? Yes. Did people say, nice name? No, I don't think people really ask my name. All right, so because, it, you know... The, there was the, a language barrier. Well, yeah, because that, that would be like being called cheddar in Wisconsin. <laughs> I didn't get maimed, like people attacked yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, like, what, what is your ah! name? It's the sacrilege. You cannot be named after <laughs> Did you like Paris? I love it I was. I had a lovely idea about young women in Paris. Did you get a French boyfriend or anything? I didn't. Like no? I didn't. Did you just go around and tease them? I, ju I just kind of walked by and made everyone go crazy. Yeah. Um, I just ate a lot of ice cream. And, really? And I went to the Eiffel Tower. I did you went to the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is nice. Very tall. I'm, I love it, but I've realized, I think, recently that I'm attracted to, like, very phallic things. Like, I love mushrooms, I love the Eiffel Tower, I love jellyfish. It is sexy time. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was an... Who's out of the door? Oh, yeah! I thought you might enjoy the horse, given that you liked, you know... Horses don't really look phallic. Uh, well, neither do jellyfish. You said jellyfish. I think jellyfish do. No, jelly... Oh, you mean like... No. <laughs> jellyfish aren't phallic. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of jellyfish are we talking about? We're talking about the ones that live in the sea. No, they're all spread out and soft. Top. <laughs> You're right. You are clever. I know. Yeah. Are you interested in art at all? Maybe you should paint. What, because I like phallic things? Yeah. That makes me an artist? Well, you have the eye of an artist. I would never think oh, of a chip. Yeah, because of this and then this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, or maybe, maybe I'm just a good uh, charades player. You know what? I've really enjoyed your visit. I'm going to give you a complimentary mouth organ. <gasps> Thank you. Can we play together? Yeah, we play together. Now, uh... Can you play the mouth organ? No. You want to teach me? One, two, three. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's not a kazoo. You don't, you don't make a sound while you're doing it. Do -de -do, do -de -do -de -do. I was just what I was hoping was going to happen. I was wishful you can't thinking. Do that. It was a wishful hope. No, you have to blow and uh, not make a sound. Good, that's a good place to start. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Comedian. You can catch him November the 18th and 19th at the Mary Mac Hall in Huntsville, Alabama. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Henry Cho, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Thank you so much. It's good to be here in Los Angeles. I don't live here anymore. I used to live out here, but I went through too many earthquakes. I've been through seven. That's a lot. First one scared me to death because it's my first one, but it helped me too because I was bowling. <laughs> Thanks for getting that. Good. Okay. You know, some people want the, uh, a bowling to be in the Summer Olympics. You know, I, I don't know. You know, if you can't do a sit-up, I don't think a gold medal's in your future. Okay. 
But the Winter Olympics, I mean, they got that biathlon, you know that one, where they cross-country ski and then shoot a rifle? <laughs> it's too easy to win in my book. Imagine you're in third place, but you got two bullets left. <laughs> That's simple math, people. I love the downhill skiers from Africa, where it never snows, ever. <laughs> There's always that one guy from Angola. This year there were two, did you see that? How'd that go down? Hey man, can I go? Well, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna have to find another coat. <laughs> First time in 62 years, United States won the uh, four, uh, gold medal in the four-man bobsled. That was awesome, man. I don't know if you saw this in Torino four years ago where that guy jumped in backwards. Guy number three is pushing. When he jumped in, he slipped and <laughs> spun around. You know guy number four is going, what are you doing, man? <laughs> we trained four years. You jumping backwards? Do I think they can tell? Yeah, our heads are touching. And you know guy number two is going, Bob, is that your back? They didn't win. <laughs> so I uh, watched the Olympics with my family. Uh, my wife and I, we have uh, two boys and a little girl. My boys' names are Jackson and Grant, because we named them after American currency. <laughs> so my daughter's name is Sacagawea. <laughs> Actually, her name is Tate. We call her Tate. That's my mother-in-law's maiden name, and that's what you do. All my kids are different, you know. Summer vacation, I asked Jackson, the oldest, hey, where do you want to go? He goes, the beach, I don't care. I asked Grant, the middle kid, How, where do you want to go? He said, New York City, that's where Godzilla lives. <laughs> and I asked little baby Tate, I go, where do you want to go? She said, China, because that's where all my toys are made. <laughs> now, if you have kids, that's great. Just raise them right, okay? Spank them, okay? Spank your kids, all right? All right, timeouts don't work. I'm tired. If I see a mom, I'm going to snap, I swear. I see moms in stores all the time going, if you do that one more time, I'm like 10. Kids done it 10 times since I've been here. 10. 10's more than one. <laughs> do something. I am. I'm going to snap. You'll read about me pretty soon, I guarantee it. <laughs> now, what happened to Henry Cho? He got arrested. He spanked 25 kids in Walmart. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't the airport. That's federal. <laughs> But raising kids is there. We protect them too much. I swear I think we do. We really do. I mean, car seats I believe in. I'll give you that. But like bicycle helmets, come on. Bobby can't ride a bike. That's Bobby's fault. And sports aren't the same. I coach Jackson's baseball teams. We don't even keep score. He has seven trophies. Just for showing up. I love being a dad, I love being married, but man, being married is different. It really is. It's so different. When you're dating, you get in a fight, you can just leave. You're married, man, you can slam as many doors as you want. You gotta go back in. That's a tough day you figure that out. It's like, oh yeah! Man. Sorry. Y'all been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Ooh, who's right, Jeff? The car explodes, and then it's got a skull, a human skull. <laughs> So it was a human all the time. And then the skull goes on fire, just like in Ghost Rider, the best movie ever made. And... <laughs> See, I just think all, all in all, tonight it was a fantastic show, although I was a little bit creepy with Brie Larson. I admit. <laughs> I admit. But... I am a little bit creepy. <laughs> you knew that about me. You knew that when you signed on. <laughs> you knew that this might happen. <laughs> you knew it. You knew I might one day come looking for you. <laughs> and show you my jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs>